Here's the Alzo 3200 LED unit that I've had, uh, I've used, been using for a little bit. And uh, this is the reflector that it comes with and a little white diffusion that goes over that. And I had to get these barn doors separately, but you can also get barn doors that attaches to the reflector. When, here's what the unit looks like. Whoops. Ugh, it's pretty, it's pretty heavy. And I, I put that tape on. There is five settings that you can dial it in, the brightness to, to dim. And when you go to each setting, it's a, it's a really hard increment uh, jump when it, when it uh, switches. So it's nothing smooth. So when, it's something that you gotta set it before you record. And then this has a AC power and you just turn that on. Oh, there's the mount that you can mount, that you mount on the light stand. Let me remove this. Try to do it with one hand. There's the cover that protects the LED. It's supposed to be this one giant LED. There is a frost diffuser that comes with the unit. I took that out because I found that it could smash pretty easily. Here's what the giant LED looks like there. The two big concerns with, with uh, these Alzo lights is the the color and the the noise so the color of with the early leds there was a strong green cast and this is no different it's not uh, the cri i don't even think it's in the high 80s i would say it's pretty low so on skin tones you're going to have to use uh, some gels to try to take down that green cast uh, I think it's not as bad as those early LED units, but it's not as good, anywhere near as good as these, uh, the, anything from light panels, for example. And once you turn this on, uh, I'll turn it on in a second, but it gets pretty noisy. So it's the kind of noise that if uh, the audio is really important to you, you know, this is not the light to get. But if you have this outside, um, or if it's really far away from the mic, uh, I think uh, this could be usable for narrative films or documentaries. But uh, I've been using it as, as like a, a key light like for a window or something really far away uh, that just when I want to pump in a lot of light and I want to distance myself from the subject, from, from what I'm shooting, I use these Alzo lights. I have two of them. Okay, so now I'm going to turn on the Alzo 3200. On my X1000, Panasonic X1000, I am shooting in 4K, 100 megabits per second, 30p, and I'm at an f5.6, 0 dBs of gain, and at 160th shutter speed. So I'm going to turn on the Alzo right now. It's at the first level, level 1. I'm going to go in increments. Here's two, three, four, and five. That's as bright as it gets. And I'm gonna be a little quiet right now and you can hear the fan noise that it's making. That fan's, fan's pretty loud. So I'm gonna grab the unit and I'm gonna just hold it over my head so you can see how really bright this unit is. Now I'm pointing it directly at that reflector. I'm a good two feet away. Now I'm gonna point it at the wall and get some bounce. This is being bounced. I have a white wall right in front of me. Bouncing the light off the white wall with just holding the unit. Now I'm going to hold it straight up on my ceiling and I'm going to point it back down. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty bright and it does get a little warm, but it doesn't get as hot as a tungsten light gets. So I can still hold it with my bare hand 
And I've had this on for a full day of shooting and it doesn't get, I mean, it gets hot, but it doesn't burn, it doesn't burn you at all. I had never purchased uh, any lights from Alzo before. So trying a new company, I was kind of reluctant to, to spend, um, even though this wasn't a lot of money, to spend this amount. I bought two, two of these units. And I will say that my first unit that I got, it was making this loud electronic uh, uh, ringing noise uh, that was a faulty unit. And um, Alzo replaced that one right away when, when I called their customer service. And then what happened with two of these units that I've had, uh, I was on a shoot and I was using it for just a, less than a week, every day less than a week. And then uh, in, on like on the third day, both lights uh, at different times, um, I, I don't know how to describe it, it, it like blew out. And it blew out, uh, something in the unit blew out where um, the, it, it was either a short, like a fuse, it wasn't the fuse, something in, internally and there was this white powder. I'm not an electrician so I don't know what causes this white powder but this happened two of my units on the same shoot different lights at different times. And that got me really scared. Uh, I, I emailed customer service and they said this, uh, that kind of problem never happens. And they replaced my uh, units immediately. So that's great customer service, but I am not sure uh, the longevity of these lights. I, I do think they have a lot of value for the money, but I don't know how long these lights would last on, on a production. I'm a little wary of that, but everything else about them, um, I'm pretty happy with.